Hello, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, I am going to show you how to do a drop down menu, drop down folder from your main navigation or your main menu on your website. So if that's something that you're interested in, whether you want to do maybe like a drop down of your services or upcoming events or, you know, product categories, anything like that, then I'm going to show you how that's done on the Squarespace website. So let's dive right into it and I'll show you how to get started. Cool. Okay. So the very first thing before we show you what I wanted to intro you is that I do have on my website a Squarespace SEO checklist. So if you're interested in Squarespace SEO, growing your website, getting more traffic to your site, reaching more of your ideal audience, then this checklist is going to help you out. It's literally just like it's been downloaded by thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So you are in excellent company here. And basically, you can just download it and go through it step by step to make sure that you haven't forgotten anything or just learn even what you need to do, because maybe you're new to it and you Maybe you're new to Squarespace SEO and you just don't even know. So this Squarespace SEO checklist, I'm linking to it down below. It's quick and easy one page thing and it will help you out enormously, which is why I mention it. So go ahead, download it and thank me later because I know you're going to love it. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to actually do that like drop down menu. So for example, here on this website, you can see that if I go to the services tab, then you've got the different options here. So remember, this is like a fake business, right? A fake website for a fake business. But here, you know, in your case, you might have different services, or you might have different upcoming events that you're doing, or you could have like, maybe it's products, and then you have different category types, right? Like, maybe you do apparel, and you're like tops, bottoms, children, or something like that, right? just help people to navigate and find the content even better. So to do it, it's really simple, actually. So let me show you. So this website, first of all, let me start off by saying that this website is on 7.0 in the Raleigh template. So one of the Brian templates. But if you're on 7.1, then this the steps that I'm going to show you are like the same. Okay. So what you're going to do here is that under the way that it's going to work here is you're to make it. Well, let me show you. You can see here that what I've got set up is a folder for my services, and then I've linked to other pages below. OK, so I have a folder that contains the pages. So if you wanted to recreate something similar on your own website, you're going to click on this plus sign. And then from here, you're going to go down to where it says other and click folder. And maybe we're going to call this like products, right? something like that. And then here, the plus sign underneath the products folder, this is where you're going to add new pages. And again, you know, for this case, for the just keeping it simple, I'm going to add just a blank page and call it maybe like tops. And then another page will be bottoms. And then another page will be let's say accessory accessories can i type i don't know okay and so now you've got your pages that exist here within the like drop down menu and now you can kind of come over to each one of these pages and start like stylizing it right so this would be your like tops um right and then this is where you add the content blah 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 blah. right so you start building out the content from that way so it's really simple yeah folder just put it there and if you ever want to let's say like drag one over like maybe you wanted you have a page already in your not linked section and if you want to move it you just have to pull it and then drop it into position so now you can see that your products will have or sorry your products that we've made now it has four pages in the drop down menu and a word of the wise for that I don't really recommend going beyond like. four max to be totally honest five if you're really pushing it, because again if you're thinking about user experience, you want it to be as easy as possible for, for people to find the info they want, and so you don't want to overwhelm them with a list of like 20 different things right that's going to be too much so stick to just like a couple a small handful and you'll be good to go so. Anyways, there you go. There you have it. A really nice and easy way to create a folder drop down menu for your main navigation. And another benefit of doing it this way, just a 
note here on the SEO front, because I am a Squarespace SEO expert, so obviously I love talking about this aspect, is that instead of putting everything like all on one giant page, which then becomes a little harder for SEO to go through, right? Because each page is maybe like conflicting. There's too, too many different keywords, whatever. Now, when you have it as a folder with different drop down options, then it's just a good way that each page will be crawled and indexed individually. So you're not getting like conflicting info that Google then has to figure out what to, you know, where to put you, what to return you for or anything like that. Like it's better from an SEO point of view to have you know, have these things separated. And, um, you know, you can still definitely have like a general overall services page that, you know, kind of like is a summary of everything and then links off to the separate pages, but also doing it this way that I've shown you with the folder dropdown is a great one too. So my friend, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and showed you just how simple it is to actually create a drop down menu, a folder system in your main navigation and you know really split up that content, make it easy for your ideal audience to navigate on your site. And so if you did like this video, like it, you can like it, that's <laughs> like it, like thumbs up it or whatever. Leave me a comment down below as well. And um, let me know if you've tried this out yourself, if it's something that you're considering, things like that. And here on my YouTube channel and on my blog, my website, I have tons more content all about Squarespace SEO, growing your website, your business, things like that. So take a little look around and I know you'll find something that will support you in whatever you're looking for. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I have and I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye.